This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. It is a Tuesday, the 10th of August in 2021. And it's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. I don't think you're watching, but just pulling it out there. <laughs> Welcome along. So the plan tonight is to do Christmas cards. A bit scared to say the word Christmas in August, but us crafters like to get sorted early so I thought I'd have a play with some new product and um, get to grips with making batch cards from one sheet aka a one sheet wonder in the craft world so do join me it's lovely to have newcomers if you can see that the light is flashing live and you're wondering what I'm about to do please do stick around this might be your jam so welcome lovely to see uh, some people I know already on here waiting for me to come live. So I'll go through the stamp sets. Remind me at the end to show you what I've been doing last week. I was away at a camp. Uh, it's a Christian conference uh, which I'm involved, well my husband and my dad are involved with organising and I helped to run the children's group. So um, I managed to sneak in some stamping up product. I'm just trying to find myself a clean sheet to work, work from. Okay, we're ready to start. I'm hoping today out of chaos will come beauty. There must be a, a quote about that, that somewhere. If not, I might have just made that one up. <laughs> I love the idea that I've made up a new quote, but it's not. It's usually not the case. It's usually like existed already. I'm trying to reach for my light and I can't quite reach it. Less of the shadow, more of the light, please. Okay. So I've gone ahead and scored, you can see the middle score line there, and I've scored, oh yes I have, I have scored it down the middle as well, um, so that it gives you, if you're doing a layout like this where you want to get four cards, it just gives you a visual as to where the lines are for when you come to cut your page down. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is it I always have to clear my throat when I come live and I've got my cup of water, I'm hoping I don't trip it everywhere. So let's have a quick hello. I'm hoping my comments are working. Oh, I can see Kim's just come in. Let's say hello to Linda and Louise. I hope you're well and getting yourself ready for your op. Hello, enchanting Esther and starry crafty friends. Delinda always has the words, doesn't she? Hi, Delinda. Hi there, Ellie and Mindy. Good to see you, Mike. Lovely to see you, Kim. Great to have you joining. Hi, Levine and Dee Marie. Good morning from Western Australia. Welcome, welcome. Right, so let me just show you the stamp sets. Um, the plan is to use Happy Holly Days with the, <coughs> the Robin again, which I used last week. Tidings and trimmings and merriest moments. I've grabbed these off the shelf. Who knows if I'll use some or any. I've gone ahead and stamped the bird onto about four sheets of post-it note and I'm cut when you cut them out to use as a mask which is what I'm going to do if you don't know what masking is then just stick around and you will see um, you want to cut now normally we say to you don't cut too close to the image but with masking because you've got that layer of paper and we want to stamp on top of the paper and around the paper so you get a, a nice snug fit fitted image. You do actually want to cut um, closely. Now I am going to chop off his legs. It won't hurt, don't worry. I'm going to have to give him a bit of an amputation because I can't be bothered to cut the tiniest of details around his legs. I mean, you could, but really... Really? <laughs> Who's got time for that, right? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, hello Ellie's TV. I'm on the big screen. I always it's great watching people on the big screen if you can cast your video onto the big screen because it looks just so much bigger and brighter and better. So coming in, I've got my set of regal colours here. Okay, so these are a good go-to for a nice kind of regal design. So Inking up my Robin in early espresso, I think it's a good kind of colour for 
Mr. Robin here. I'm going to have him sort of sitting upright in the there. I'm wondering, do I do them all in one go? I think we should because I'm feeling a little bit tired, so I might just going to make them slightly different. Oops, got them pressed too hard. Now I've, I know that I've pressed too hard because the rubber on the top has just left a faint line there. I'm going to put this one in the middle of my image, sort of in the middle, my paper rather than my image. Oh no, the birdie needs crutches, says Linda. And we'll stick him roughly in the middle also. Aloha, welcome, R Raline, Raylene. Sorry, don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry if I got it wrong. Everybody, please welcome Raylene, Raylene, you want to ask? You have to let us know how to pronounce your name. So, because I've stamped this on four post-it notes, haha, <laughs> clever me, can now cover over four of my images. Okay, so just line up the, she says, the <laughs> stamped image with, it's not playing ball tonight. Come on. There we go. You want to get it covered. Hey, hey, Miss Wendy. I actually saw Wendy in real life the other week. She actually exists. <laughs> Wendy, I don't think I've met you before then. It's so weird because it's like, I feel like I know you. I feel like you're just one of the sisters. Do you know what I mean? So it was lovely to actually see Wendy last week when I went away. So I managed to stay with Ruth for one night, which was jolly exciting. If you want to see our little video together it's over on Ruth's page at Artful Stampin forgot to tag my deets in it but I think Ruth managed to do that afterwards thanks Ruth um, so the plan is to use some foliage some flora and fauna to get decorating around Mr Robin okay I'm doing that thing where my quality settings automatically sets to uh, like quite low okay so I'm going to let's use these lovely I'm going to go Christmassy today I'm going to use these do you know what? I've worn this necklace today and it keeps strangling me I, I think I might have to change it so it um maybe string it up so it doesn't so it stops strangling me um grab out some blocks um, no, no wildlife was harmed in the making of this film, exactly. That's the great thing about stamps, you can just keep using it over and over. Pamela says, good to have you back from vacation. Appreciate that, thank you. Nice to be back in some ways. <laughs> uh, oh, there's, there's so many stamps in here that are lovely. I don't know which ones to choose. I'm just going to kind of grab them all out and see what we've... Oh, and that's just one stamp set okay so the idea is that we're going to decorate around said bird um well i keep up with your comments <laughs> uh wendy says i know it's weird isn't it it was lovely to proper meet you <laughs> thanks wens okay i'm going in with mary malo and i want to Lay down a nice big fat poncettia type flower to disguise the fact that his legs are missing. I might now, is there a smaller one? So there's two poncettia type flowers here, and we've got let's see what I've got. I've got mossy meadow. Mm. which I'll use with oh my mossy meadow's a bit strange strange I want to extend that you know think about your the shape of your 
branches and where you're going with them. Um, I can't wait till we can all meet up, says Ellie. Welcome, Joanna. Nice to see you. Um, just checking the messages. Okay, I need like a little bit of green just run here. This is quite an easy and quick way. If you like, I said, if you want to knock up four cards in one go, and you've got the stamps out already, I'm going to introduce evening evergreen. I want to have a go with this lovely ferny stamp. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just be being careful not to cross over the border here because I don't want it to go into my other card really. So remember, whatever I'm stamping on the board, the board, bird, <laughs> whatever I'm stamping on the bird isn't going to show up once I lift the paper off. Okay. So you can do as little or as much as you like. I'm going to leave the holly leaves off this one and just explore to see what else we have in here. I love the idea of these berries. I might have to swap out some blocks. And where's my cherry cobbler? grab out some Christmassy colours, it's easier rather than me trying to search through. Um, Levine says, love this stamp set. Which one's that, Levine? The uh, Merriest Moments. There's loads in there I still haven't used, but do you know what? There's no rush because we've got a few others. Welcome Shirley, lovely to have your company. Hello, Miss Sheila. Right, what do I want to use? Yes, I want to incorporate a bit more red, so I'm going to... Or do I want more Merlot? I wonder whether to stick to that colour palette. Or oh, let's go Merlot. Let's just chuck in, chuck in another colour. You can afford, I should say, oh, by words, getting all middle muddled. To stamp twice. That's better. So we've got a bit more red happening now. We're kind of following where those um, ferns are really. We've got a nice splay. Now I am tempted to put a Merlot flower up here. But what I think I'm going to do is... The, the bird is masked, yes, Shirley. So this gets to come off in a minute. So I just want to, I don't know if I've got something for the center of those flowers. I could do with like a little dot type stamp that will fill in some yellow. I might bring out my penguin stamp set because it's got just like little blobby bits here that would be handy just to use as a so, you know, explore your stamps. Remember, they're not just, this isn't just a red nose on a penguin. This can be a flower centre, okay? They are whatever you need them to be, basically. Um, hi, Cindy. You're purging the spare room. Good for you. It's a nice feeling to purge sometimes. I say sometimes. <laughs> You've got to be in the mood for purging. So when I lift this up, obviously it'll be blank underneath. So you've got a couple of options to leave it like that. Or you could, um, what am I saying? You could uh, colour it in. I was looking, oh, I've got this. I could have used those. There you go. We didn't need to break out into another set. I've just, oh, what's that? Um, so you could use that for dotage if you want to have it, um, but I'm going to use this one. This one's calling to me. Oh, 
I've got another Fernie. Well, honestly, this set is the the stamps that just keep on giving. <laughs> what's what's Ellie saying? The bird is COVID safe with a mask on. Grown. Oh, Ellie. <laughs> That's like a dad joke, that is. <laughs> okay. So I going to use me think some crumb cake because I've used brown for the bird I don't want to add on it's a very dangerous stamping on a whole sheet like that no tellings what marks I'm going to make and these look at that oh yeah it just oh, just look at that adds this little sprinkling of of hmm <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. Oh, it's the exciting bit. I love this bit, the great reveal. Ready, I'm going to keep my hand out in the way. I get to see it first. <laughs> um, Ellie says, I dropped a holly stamp from this set the other day and I just can't find it. I haven't got it, okay? It's not me. Look at him nestled in there. The question is, do we colour him in or do we leave him like that? While you have a think, I'm going to go on and uh, let's do this one at the bottom here. Now this one's got a few more smudges around it since you saw him last. So I'm going to try and deal with that. Let's bring in some holly. We're going to work with shaded spruce. Why not? Shaded spruce. Shaded spruce. <clears throat> Got to say it with a bit of an accent. Colour him, please, says Ellie. No colour, says Darlene. <laughs> Already got conflicting advice. This is, you know, you lot are so helpful. <laughs> so, holly sprigs, let's have a look. So, going in with some bigger holly. And then I think there's about three different size holly leaves. So... And do some more spriggies coming off here. I think my surface is a little bit uneven under here. I'm afraid we're going to have to have some more votes because there's a bit of an argument as to whether we should have the holly leaves or not. Right, what else have we got in here? Um, I'm thinking, can you, can you hear that? I'm just thinking. Actually, I might want to do, find the berries. Do two with and two without colouring. <laughs> yes, very diplomatic. Bit of colour maybe, says Shirley. Colour all, but leave one without, says Darnie. <laughs> okay, coming in with real red. I think that one, can, the top one can probably afford to not necessarily have um, colour. But this bottom one, I imagine, might need some sort of colour. Whoa, nearly got bright red ink on my nice yellow top. Don't do that. So what colour is this? Old olive. So we want to maybe nestle him a bit. Oh, we could. Goodness me, the dogs are out tonight. Come around here a bit. Something a bit different. Yes, uneven surface underneath, not very good. Hi, Evie. Nice to see you. Maybe use a wink of Stella on the bird, says Delinda. Can't go wrong with a bit of wink, can we? I think this needs a bit more red, so we'll... I'm going to introduce the red, but not put the stems on, because they could 
and have them poking out of here. Mm. I'm not sure about this because it feels a bit disjointed, the holly and the leaves. So let's fix that, shall we? Somehow, somewhere. The colours probably don't help because you've got this kind of bold green against the this sort of lighter green and they look as if they're two separate pieces and I don't like that. Oops, just had to moderate your comment there Ellie. So trying to now bring this other green and incorporate it in a bit more so it doesn't look so disjointed to the... It's going to look like he's got a little punk hairstyle. <laughs> Delinda says, Esther, why don't you use a cushion mat under paper stamping the photopolymer? You know what? It's right here. I'm just being lazy, Delinda. Look. I'm going to listen to Delinda. Don't do as Esther does. Just listen to Delinda. <laughs> Just, you know when you get carried away and you just want to get going, you know? <coughs> right, I think I'm going to maybe stop there. Let's bring in our pretty... Hmm. One can never have... From just this just lifts the design and adds a bit of Christmas sparkle. Okay, so let's try colouring this in. <laughs> Delinda says, I was just inquiring, dear Esther. You do what makes you happy. Well, the trouble is, it may, means that I end up stamping and not um, <laughs> doing a very good job of it. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Possibly a bit more green foliage here. There we go. See, it doesn't look make him look too punk rockery, does it? So the question is, what colour is... Uh, do they have a red? Oh, I'm going to have to look it up. Robin. Robin. Oh, they've got brown head, that's right. They're all brown. Orange chest. And... Hmm. Okay, let's try this. It looks like he's wearing a foliage crown, that's funny. So I find the best colour for Robin's chest is actually Cajun craze. Um... I think that is the closest to a robin's colour. What have I done with Cajun craze? But I'm sure they did one. What colour is this? Hmm. Is that it? No, that's Calypso. What colour is this? I'm sure they did a Cajun craze. There we go, Cajun craze. So well, th mm, I don't know whether to change. No, if I start introducing that, it might look a bit odd. But mind you, do you want the contrast with the with the bright red? Uh, and then crumb cake and what was the other colour I was thinking of? Um, a soft suede, maybe. I just wonder if that would look a little bit odd. Oh, Linda Claire, thank you so much for your super chat. 
And thank you for explaining about the red rubber. Sorry, I missed your question, Lucinda. What does the cushion mat do, please? Thank you for asking that. And thank you to Pamela for asking that says the photopolymer stamps don't have the cushion. So they don't have the red rubber and the um, that cushioning. Yeah. So it just gives you that extra cushioning and gives you a, a crisp image. And especially if you don't have a flat surface. Right. I'm going to bite the bullet and use Cajun Craze for his chest. I can't remember if his if their chest is all oh when you don't have a reference it's really tricky yeah up, oh I've coloured too far down oh well <laughs> around his eyes are definitely like a but there's like a different shading where his the feathers are. So I think they've put it back in the catalogue, haven't they? Because for a while, I'm just choosing my colours. Because on the pictures of the robin, there's a part which is a lighter shade around here but I think it's on the chesty bit oh wow it's a made up bird let's just go with that so this colour is crumb cake I think it's an image like this people aren't going to like pull up a google reference are they and go oh she's done it wrong because that's just a bit sad sorry but it's called artistic license So the more colour you lay down with these alcohol markers, the deeper the shading will get. So although it comes in lots of colours, sometimes you don't need all the colours. It's looking good from her Google search. <laughs> good. Now, Claire's just joined us from Cheeky Monkey Crafts. How are you feeling, Miss Claire? Claire is suffering from labyrinthite, labyrinthitis. Now this one feels like he needs a colour in now. <coughs> but I'm wondering whether to make him vintagey. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this is. If you don't have a mat, I've seen some people use a stack of computer paper or even newsprint. Uh, but the mat is always flat and even. So I think um, you can also use um, a computer mouse. Oh. She's not feeling great. It's horrible having labyrinthitis. I've had it before. So I've just grabbed out grey granite because I like the idea of maybe doing like a vintagey bird. So I'm going to colour. This is a bit brave and daring. I'm going to colour. See in the picture, this was a different colour to his chest. So this is dark grey granite, and then I'm going to use light grey granite. Oh look, you've got sympathy Claire, people have had it, it's not nice. And then this is... crumb cake and this is the dark crumb cake so that kind of makes it well, actually it doesn't look like a it looks like a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> What does a partridge look like? Let's have a look. Partridge. 
Okay, partridge is a bit more speckledy on its chest. It's got a lighter head. Let's turn it into a bit of a partridge. A partridge in the pear tree. Okay, it's now a partridge. Everybody looks like a sparrow. It could be a sparrow. Could be anything you want it to be. <laughs> oh, I wonder how it's. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to start. You start reading out comments that aren't actually relevant to your to what you're doing. There we go. Our sparrow come partridge, and there's our robin. Let's go on and do this side because we still have some birdies left. I'm enjoying this. This is good. Good fun. Okay, I think. Um, tell you what colours I haven't used. I've not put, used garden green. <laughs> she says, getting out every green in the world. Oh, sage and just jade. We have a lot of greens. Just saying. Stamping up if you're listening. We have a lot, a lot of greens. Look at that. Two, four, six, seven. So let's take out these and maybe that one there. That will be nice. With Merlot. And possibly, possibly, I had it around here somewhere. Um, a bit of Blackberry Bliss just for an alternative. So thank you so much, 12 Thumbs Up, and for people watching. Do shout if it's... I am live right now. If you can see the red live button, sometimes it's a bit deceiving because it says live and actually the person's not live anymore. Uh, but just click on the live chat and you might be able to see the live chat going on. So this one... Let's have a quick perusal. Right, I've not used these much. Let's pull these ones out. And swap over some blocks. So these are like a double layer. Not a double layer. Two, well... It is like a double layer. You do one and then you can fill it with the other, is what I'm trying to say. So you have the outer leaves and you can fill it if you want to with the inner leaves. Now remind me about the stars, I might add them onto this one. So I've got kind of similar colours here, so I'm wondering about the Just Jade with the Merry Merlot innards. Uh, soft succulent is my new favourite, says Linda. And then Ellie replied, Linda, every time I use a colour, I think it's my new favourite. Shirley says, use pear pizzazz. Uh Darlene says, I love him coloured. You can mail to me the first one. <laughs> OK, let's get going with... Hmm, I wonder whether to lay down some fern first. In. Let's go soft succulent. Let's make this one quite sort of soft and kind of muted. So he's sitting on a bed of ferns. <coughs> okay. And then I'm going to leave my ink pads open and add the Just Jade. So you can mix and match similar stamp sets if you've got these. You don't have to stick. I, I do tend to stick to one stamp set quite a bit. But sometimes it is nice to mix and match. Especially if you know if you've got things like foliage, flora and fauna, you can afford to 
makes them match a bit more. So this one is like a two sprigged, two leaf, leaf, two leaf, can't speak, two leaf spray. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Shutting up. <laughs> oh dear. Tidjish. I love it, says Linda. Okay, so this one goes with the, oh, I'm going to really stick my head in the way. And then you can, if you stamp again, you get this lighter shade, which is quite fun. I can't see a thing. Oh, look at the lovely smudge Esther's made on her page. And Vicky's walked in just on time. How did I manage that one then? My fingers were nowhere near any old olive. I've been from a stamp. I am not a careful crafter, I'll have you know. I think filling them in makes all the difference. I love Robin, says Shirley. Robins are cool, aren't they? We don't get many here. Well, in the country generally, but not in my garden. And then I think we had some blue tits last year. And so I was trying to play some blue tit music on my... Not music, blue tit song to encourage them back into the garden. Right, major boo-boo. So, although I wasn't necessarily thinking of Old Olive, <laughs> thank you for sneaking on there, you yeah. sneaky neaky. I'm now going to introduce Old Olive. Sometimes your craft work just tells you. You know, you've got plans, but it's got other plans. So you, you just have to give in sometimes and go, okay, okay, you win. You win this time. It's not what I was going for. Okay, might be able to chop that off. Sit down now. Okay. Sometimes you have a happy accident, says Linda. Yeah. <laughs> you could stamp pine cones to mimic a nest. That's a cute idea. Don't have any pine cones, though. Right, where was I? So I wanted to use Merlot and Blackberry Bliss. So I've got the berries to hand. Just check. Oh, I did not use this little dotty dotty. which might just have to feature with some Blackberry Bliss. Shirley says she's got lots of birds in the garden. Robins, blue tits and chaffinches. Oh, these look like little... Look, they look like little blackberries. Oh, how cute is that? <sighs> Who said they've got turkeys? Linda's got barn swallows and blue jays. Wow. Okay, this is my happy accident. <laughs> it's because I put that there, I've now got the little, the cutest little blackberries. Cover up my boo boos. Oh my word, they're just adorbs. Excuse me. Get out of my picture. Just talking to a rogue fly. Uh, this is from Merriest Moments. You might miss it. What do I tell you? All of you, listen up now. Right? Look for the small stamps. I'm all about the small stamps. <laughs> okay? They're in there for a reason. Oh, bye, Pam. Nice to see you. Okay, let's go back to now. I'm wondering if these berries are, like, too big. 
So I'm going to bring back that little tiny nose. Um, yes, that little one is probably designed to go in the centre of your flowers. But remember, it could be anything you want it to be. Don't restrict your stamps. They're not there for restricting. I'm going to use Merry Mallow to add some berries. So, OK, the berries... I'm stamping them in three, just like the bigger ones, but those other ones just looked a bit too big. So I'm going to just add them. So, you know, you could probably use the bigger one. Uh, I was going to try and link it specifically to those, you know, to a certain plant. If you make it too random, it could look quite random. I like that. Happy little accident there. If it wasn't for that, I might not have used that for that. Who knows? Things happen for a reason. So, if you notice, the ferns are getting a bit lost now. So I'm going to bring in my smaller fern stamp. And come back with some succulents. Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you here. <coughs> if this is your first time... Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you can catch me live again if you press that bell notification, which you'll find on my channel when you subscribe. And if you're interested in actually purchasing these stamps and giving it a go yourself, and if you're in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, then I can send you out a English catalogue or you can look for my online shop at the Stampin' Star Creations .co.uk So I've decided I might go all the way around <laughs> because I've come so far and I've got a funny gap there now and it's going to look a bit strange if there's nothing there. So I'm just going to come back with the colours I used. Oh, sorry Wendy that you've missed did I miss much? She said, oh, unsettled as children. Um... Oh, thank you for the reminder. Shirley, do you know what I did forget? So thank you for reminding me. Just going to add some more berries in here because again it looks a bit floaty without anything there. So if anyone's got any special requests for the last one, I think I'll... Um, I was going to go maybe brighter colours, so like real red again, but I don't know now. Yeah, if you've got any special itching requests. Oh, hi, little Wendy's little one. Is it Aaliyah? <coughs> right, so. Right, mm, stop. <laughs> okay, so I've got these olive green ones here. But then I've got no olive green around here, so I'm going to add that in now. The olive green originally wasn't planned for those just joining us. But uh, because I was covering up a boo-boo that you can't actually see now, uh, we decided to, I say we, the royal we, <laughs> me, <laughs> decided to add some. So I mean, I'm wondering whether I need a bit of a sprig here. Ooh, where do I put it? Just go for it, just, you know. Just gonna keep stamping. <laughs> and then I get to use my favorite new stamp. Shh, don't tell the others. The little, um, Olive was late, very late to the party. Olive gate crashed the party. She wasn't invited actually. But Olive is a little bit deaf and she just, she thought she heard one thing and she's like, 
you know, she's rocking up anyway. She's like, yeah, I'm coming. It's like, Olive, it wasn't for you. You weren't actually invited. She's like, eh? Invited? Me? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Maybe a turkey for the last one. Oh, that's what you meant by turkey. Right, here goes. Are you ready? The great reveal. Drum roll, please. Durr, durr. Oh, come on. Durr. I can't roll my R's. Not right now. Oh, I like that. I, th <laughs> I think my watch might have invited Olive. Oh, look at that. So just going to show you the difference. So these ones, we we did the same thing. We started with a stamped image, covered it with a post-it note and cut it out. And then you colour, you stamp around the image and then you colour the image. Um, yeah, apparently she doesn't need an invite, she's just there. So quite often when you get stamping and making, the, the more you do it and get into the flow, the better you get at it because you kind of realise what it needs or doesn't need. So this one, you know, I'm happy with, I'm okay. This one, not so happy with just because of the combination, the way the colours are. Then this one, I'm more happy with the composition. So the more you go on, the, the better they tend to get. Not always, but do you know what? I've forgotten, I've forgotten the stars, but I don't know if that actually needs it. So I might try and get the stars for the next one. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I don't know if it's because I'm... Oh, look. Can you see that fly buzzing around? Can you see that? Okay. So, for this one, let's have a thinky boos. Um... <clears throat> oh, his feet have managed to get stamped on that one. So, Linda's suggesting maybe add some Cajun berries to tie bird colour. That's a good colour, good, good idea, not good colour, good idea. Cajun craze, where are you, Cajun? Cajun craze. It's crazy, crazy, Cajun craze. Good idea, right, so Linda was suggesting Cajun craze. Any other suggestions? I'm thinking of coming back to Evergreen. I'm thinking... Could stamp the Ponsettia ones in there. No, that would look a bit funny. Whatever colour you coloured the bird in. <laughs> yes. Okay, I quite like the ferns because they featured in all of them. So I'm going to come back to my ferns and we'll do evening evergreen ferns. Some smoky slate, says Shirley. Dottage in that colour, maybe. In the Cajun or the... Right, let's put him on a bed of... This fern is so pretty. Let's see if I can bring it around a bit more. I think this other one... Oh, mind you, this goes on the other side. But we can use that as well. So when you when I'm carrying things around, I try and get the stem to meet the previous stem, so that it looks a bit more organic. I'm just going to bring on this other stem here, this other fern, and this just extends the, the branches so it looks a bit more loose. I like the idea of it maybe coming around a bit here. <laughs> I 
Esther's hesitating. <laughs> there we go. Hi, Liz. Nice to see you. Oh, I didn't realise that was a fern. Fern, I had thought it was a fur. What's the difference between fur and fern? Cherry cobbler, maybe? Right. Um, says cherry cobbler, says Ellie. <coughs> I can't get this. <coughs> I know it's stuck deep down in your throat and you can't get it out. It's not anything serious. It's just my asthma. Um, cherry cobbler. Right, we were thinking about Cajun crazed berries. So if I put those in now, some Cajun crazed berries. Hang a tiny ornament from the fern above the head. That's where my star could come in. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Right, I'm going to add some berries, but I am conscious that I don't, you don't want the berries right next to his chest because, um, okay, I'm wondering whether to fill a little bit more underneath here. I'm just going to stamp off and then just, that's a bit better. Okay. Well, we could have this kind of like, um, I should call it mistletoe type happening, couldn't we? Now, remember, you can use these by themselves. You don't have to use this with the um, lined. With the outline, sorry. I was just trying to think about my words then. Now, if you notice, when you stamp off that dark shaded spruce colour, which I've done for the fern, it almost becomes this uh, soft succulent colour that I'm using now. So the shadings are lovely when stamping up, create the their stamps. So I think I'm going to keep this one fairly simple, not go too crazy with the... Mm, she says. <laughs> I might... Oh, I really like those blackberries. But I might do them in the... I'm just going to stick to that colour palette. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, Cindy says, I've just filled a large paper bag with wooden stamps my friend, the first grade teacher. Esther, you've got a hairball you're hacking up. <laughs> it feels like it sometimes. I think when my inhaler comes to the end of its life, because it's got numbers on it, and although it says, yeah, you've got like six puffs left, I think it actually means, no, you've got no puffs left. <laughs> so it's it's time to change it over. And I think that's what it is. Like, it just, my body tells me before my inhaler. <laughs> Hi, Miss Box Taylor. Lovely to see you. Okay. Any more for any more? Tempted to come in. Yes, because Esther's all about more. Thank you, 20 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys for your thumbing up. Just want to see what it'd look like if I added some just the dark. leaves. Sorry, sometimes you've got to pause because you're concentrating. It's just something that happens when you concentrate. When you just get stamping and stamp because you want to stamp, there's something really enjoyable about it. It's like, a, I don't know, sense of freedom or something. I don't know what happens, but it's just so relaxing. There we go. Now I'm wondering whether that needs to curve round a bit more. It'd 
In fact, I'm going to leave it because I might be able to fit in a small sentiment there. Okay, so this is the bigger picture. Okay, so I'm stamped four birds because it means I'm going to chop it up and I can make four cards. Okay, so the, although it might have taken nearly an hour, yes, ladies and gents, sometimes it can take that long to actually create something, if not longer. <laughs> okay. Shelley says, yes, probably. I just wait until I've got 10 puffs left for a new inhaler. <laughs> okay, look, there's our bird. So I think it'll be honourable. <laughs> Let's colour this one in. Now, I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful with my colouring, she says. Light, soft suede. Now, I think, now where I went wrong is I think... This this part of the bird here becomes lighter. Maybe I should have used the lighter. Too late now, this is. Bring you back in so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, well done, Wendy, for getting your little one to sleep. How is my son's arm? Thank you for asking, Jenna. Um, so he's still in a bit of pain with it and having to take some medication. We've had a bit of an ordeal with the hospital. I'm trying to get it sorted out to fit him with a more permanent plaster which they were supposed to do but there was silly toing and froing about x-rays and accessing files and all this silliness so um it's been a bit of a, a nuisance to say the least but the latest thing is hopefully we'll get something in the post now to let us know what's happening Oops, overcoloured the beak there. Let's just pretend he's got a worm in his mouth. So for bigger spaces, I'm just using the, the brush end of my uh, blender pen. So there's two ends, there's the felt tip pen and then there's this brush end here. So lively Esther, I'm glad I'm catching you as I'm finally at the BC Coast visiting family. I'll have to watch the replay to see your creation. Oh Caroline, thank you for popping on, it's lovely to see you. Some birds have black beaks, says Barbs. Are you trying to say something Barbs? Are you trying to tell me that I should be doing black beak here? I might do him sparrow like, like we did the last one because then it doesn't have to be Christmassy. And I think it would suit the colours that we've used in the... Um, in the picture. Oh, I said whoops. <laughs> I said whoops, as in we should have had a black beak or... So cute, love them all, says Liz. Thank you. I think with a bird like this, generic bird, you can make it whatever bird you want. So although it's in a Christmas set, it could be a sparrow, it could be a bluebird, it could be some of the others that we spoke about tonight. Uh, 
Ellie likes the crescent shape of the last one. Now, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Just use the finer tip. Look, I've got, I've got gubbins all up here as well. Right. Now, let's do, do you want to just show you the... Uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, I could do with the basket. So, I'm going to carefully just... To avoid losing stamps, particularly small ones, make sure you mount them onto something. Because um, that's how stamps easily get lost. So I'm going to chuck them all in here and give them a bit of a clean down later. But right now I just need to move it off my desk. Oops. And I'm just going to move the inks away from me for a minute. Needs a spice. Okay. So, like we said, these aren't meant to be together. These are to be cut down. So, here goes. I'm going to cut it straight down where my score line is. I'm just going to move my mat out of the way now. And then you can see them in their own space. I think I need to change the blade on my trimmer. Okay, so I like to do three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So just look at the overall picture and see where you can afford to cut off your picture. So here I've got a smudge at the bottom, which you can't see. This would make a good set of uh, cards as a gift in a box. Oh, thank you. Right, I'll go through them at the end. I'm just going to get these chopped up quickly. Now, remember also that um, these aren't mounted yet on anything. So when you mount them onto, oh, I didn't use my star. I don't think I actually need it. Sometimes, you know, you have these ideas and like I say, they dictate for you. Wow, look at that. So, I could add sentiments to this if I wish. I'm um, just going to bring on some card to show you what it would look like mounted on something. Right, I haven't got any Merlot cut. Certain colours I haven't got out, so... Just going to have to use your imagination. And succulent. Okay. Just had a thought. I'm just gonna see what that looks like on the Oh look at that. Right, let's just have a look. So that is on Blackberry Bliss. So, despite normally, I would say try not to go for the minimal color. So, in this case, um, Blackberry Bliss doesn't feature a lot, so I would usually tend to avoid that. But in this case, it works. Sorry, my eyes really itchy. I've been having itchy eyes today. I think I've missed taking antihistamines, and uh, it's catching up on me now. If you wanted a more subtle approach, this is picking up on that lovely soft succulent colour in there, but I'm thinking already, I'm really liking it, the contrast on that Blackberry Bliss colour. So bringing in, let's have a look, I might even have a Cajun, no, of course I don't have Cajun praise cut up. <laughs> 
Okay, this is on Old Olive. It's my beads strangling me again. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Ooh. That's real red. And so this one could again go, oh, that's quite nice. There we go. Right, so I'll take you through the first one and then you could do some voting. So here, you know, you could put a sentiment in the corner. So let's just draw you out of the picture. So that's number one. Number two, still, still not overly happy. But the thing is, if it in isolation, if you got that, then you'd never know, would you? <laughs> so one, two, three, and four. Place your votes now. Phone lines will be closed soon. Any phone calls and money made after that? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Liz loves it on the red. Thank you, Liz. Oh, the wheel of doom started turning. Hopefully I'm still... Going live. So Darlene's the vote is in for number one. Wendy says four, three, one, two. Shirley's vote is for one, three, and four. That's interesting that number one is popular. Um, Ellie voted for number one and changed her mind. Oh, that's interesting that people are going back to number one. Levine says four, two, three, and one. That's interesting. Cheryl's votes for one, Linda's one, four, two, three, Mindy's one, three, four, two, Barb, one, three, four, two, Delinda, one, and three, Elizabeth is one, three, four, two, Cindy's for two. I like them all, think the number two, one, three, and four for Liz. That isn't that interesting, everyone's going back to number one. One, three, two, and four. For Liz, for Cheryl. They are all gorgeous, says Jana. Lovely cards, Esther. Shed Pinterest. Thank you, Gina, for that. Thank you for creating and sharing them. Have a good night. Thank you, Gina. Well, 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 how interesting. I, I love get, doing the voting bit. I know for some you just think, oh, what's the point? But actually, it just gives an overall insight into what people like. And also, What's interesting is that actually when you see things in real life, they're actually quite different in person. So I think, you know, the, the camera will pick up certain colours. So you might be drawn to certain colours because that's what what you can see on the screen. Um, but sometimes things can look different in real life. And what's nice about this is it's all stamping, simple stamping. So we've managed to create four different cards using that lovely Robin stamp. So if you want me to, oh, I don't know, I've used hundreds of colours today. I'll try and go through them if you really want me to. And I'll go through the stamp sets. I'm not going to be as fancy as Ruth where she puts them all in order. <laughs> Just kind of... Just going to show you. So, like all of the greens, a lot of the reds. Okay. Cajun Crow, Soft Succulent, Just Jade, Evening of Green, Mossy Meadow, Shaded Spruce, Garden Green, Cherry Cobbler, and Espresso, Real Red, Crumb Cake. And then for the stamp set, that bug, go away. <laughs> Still at it. So, Merriest Moments, which featured the holly. The ferns or the fur, whatever you want to call it, the poncettias. We use quite a lot of this, the, the sprinkly spotted wherevers and the gorgeous little dots and the berries. So we managed to use virtually all of them except for the largest holly leaf. Then I really like the sprig on this. Um, in fact, it just reminds me of a charm that we used to have. Kim, it's been lovely seeing you. Thank you so much. Um, we used a lot of the sprigs and the leaves out of that, that one. Used the robin, just the robin out of that one. And actually used the nose out of the penguin place uh, stamp set. So these are in our new mini catalogue for 
um, uh, August to December. And don't forget that we've got something on called Celebration. So if you order from the main catalogue and or from the mini, then you can I'm trying to find my catalogues. Um, you can get a freebie from here. Okay. Hi Ruth. So it doesn't have to be exclusive from here. Now, if you are planning on spending um, about £100 or 150 please get in touch with me because um, there are ways of getting value for money, I should say, either by signing up or getting stamp and rewards. So please don't just go ahead and order. There might be a way of helping you get better value for your money. OK, now the sign up offer, if you did want to become a demonstrator or be on my team or just grab a brilliant offer for just £99, you can get £130 worth of product plus a free bundle from this from the mini catalogue. OK, so if you liked the Robin, it comes with a Holly Punch. But to be honest, there's some ones which are probably worth more. So this is the freebie celebration catalogue. So if you spend £45, uh, yes, thank you, and you get free shipping, says Linda. Thank you, Linda. Just £45, which is actually quite easy to do. You get something free out of here. OK, so um, just email me on here if you want to find out more. Sorry about the glare. It's just easier to have it laminated because I'm a bit of a mucky pup, as you have noticed. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you, 26 thumbs up. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for chatting along. I really appreciate you. And um, just joining me, it's just nice to come and chill out and to chat. It's nice to be back. I miss my holiday, but it's also nice to be back. Um, so if you're not already, my sister Ruth at Artful Stamping is probably going to go live in a few minutes. So if you're not already following her, you might want to do that. And um, you can follow Elementary Paper Crafting. She is on my team and so is Levine, if you're still here. Uh, just a mum stamping is Levine. And um, there we go, Elementary Paper Crafting. Anyone else? Uh, Claire was here earlier, Cheeky Monkey Crafts. So we've got a good team going. So again, if you want to know about joining a great community of crafters, then you can get in touch. I won't take any more of your time. I'm out of here. Take care. Lots of love. God bless you all. And hopefully catch you. Oh, I forgot to show you something. I'm just going to quickly show you. This, if you haven't seen it already, you can go over to my Facebook page. But if you're not on Facebook, this is what I worked on um, the, the week that I was away. And can you spot the Stampin' Up! product? So uh, the leaf punch, some gold gilding. This is the, the little gate that comes with the sheep stamp set. Um, use those. Uh, anything else? That was it. Okay, so that's the project we worked on. So, yep, okay, I better go. <laughs> Take care. Bye.